Hello, it is I. Now, Forza Horizon 5 has many features and details which us players really love and appreciate, but there are also some things which really annoy us as well. For some players, these are big issues in the game which really ruin the gameplay experience, but there are also very small problems too which surprisingly affect the game just as much. Well, that's why I made this video, as today I'll be going through tiny issues which annoy me in Forza Horizon 5. Emphasis on tiny, a lot of these are very picky. Now, before we get into this video, I think it's about time you drop kick that like button. 4,000 likes is the target as per usual. My last unscripted video did really well on my channel so if you enjoyed this one then make sure to let me know by pressing that like button. Anyways without further ado let's get into this video. Okay, so I've just chosen my Honda S2000. Now, let's say I want to recreate Yuki's S2000 from Too Fast, Too Furious. 12 seconds later. And I think that is close enough. But we're missing something very important. The design. This car needs to be pink. So let's find a new design for this car. Let's type in. Okay, right. We typed in Fast and Furious. Now, let's search for a design for this car. Oh, wow. There's quite a lot of designs. I can't wait to choose the correct one. What the hell is this? Where's the Too Fast, Too Furious S2000? You see, the reason why it's not here is because you need to go back here and select the make and model of your car. So you need to go on this and this. I don't know why it's not on this already or why is it on any so you can just put any car. Why do you have to do this manually? Okay, now that that's selected, now if you put this on, it should hopefully come up with that car. Yes, there you go. And look at how good the car looks right now. Oi, oi, look at that. Oi, oi, oi. Now, yes, I know this is a small problem. You just don't need to be lazy or just remember to do it. It, but come on, it should be there from standard. You don't need to select the car that you need to put the paint on. It should be the car that you're driving is standard. Who, who chooses another car and puts another paint on? Like, who does that? Okay, now, recently I transitioned from... Oh my god, what's that car doing? Okay, so recently I went from playing Horizon 5 on my PC to my Xbox Series X. And the transition has been very good. A lot of the PC bugs have completely gone in this console version. The gameplay is so much smoother because you can play 4K60 like consistently. The frame rate doesn't drop ever. But there is something a little bit annoying about the uh, console version of the game. And it's the fact that you cannot adjust the field of view in the console version. And what's really annoying is the cockpit camera angle because look how close you are to the steering wheel. You can't even see half of the steering wheel. See, yep, that really annoys me we really need field of view adjustment oh my god on console version of this game because we i, I hate this so it's melee in a virtual pouch the fed it's a personal ounce now, something that's marmite that kind of annoys me about Forza Horizon 5 is the fact that some cars are hidden away. Because in Forza Horizon 3, if you want to buy a Toyota AE86, you can simply buy it for 25 grand. Cheap as chips. Whereas in Forza Horizon 5, if I want to buy an AE86, um, yeah, you can't buy it in the auto show, which is a little bit weird. But no worries, because we have the auction house, so you can buy cars which other people are selling. So let's go to Toyota. So in Horizon 5, you can get it for 25 grand but here oh my god yep that's five million for an a86 who's buying that for this sort of money how's a 25 grand car in horizon 3 worth five million in this game yeah i just don't understand i, mean, I know it's a rare car and it's meant to be all very special in that but how can you do this to existing cars from the older games okay now a very slight downgrade which kind of annoys me is the fact that the interiors of the buildings are very very simplified. Let me go to drone view to show you this here. You can see the interior of the building is basically a 2D image that's made to look 3D so it gives depth. This is what playground games call parallax interiors or something, I don't know. And yeah, it's it's alright. I mean, you get to see the interior of this shop and in here there's a house with a couch sort of thing in it. So yeah, it's basically just an illusion that makes the interior seem 3D. Now this may seem very impressive, but in Horizon 3 they did the interiors so much better. Because in Horizon 3 the interiors were actually 3D. You had actual furniture, actual tables with basically glass in between. So it wasn't an illusion, it was actual 3D interiors which were in Horizon 3. But ever since Horizons 4 and 5, they completely got rid of that and simplified the interiors. Which I guess is a good thing as they can focus on the game more, but th they haven't really. I mean, I know it's not really a big feature that's really annoying, but it, it does annoy me a little bit. It's so sad to see them downgrade incredible features like this. 
I come skirting round with a big bag of L's, let me serve them out. Uh. Okay, now this is something I mentioned a lot in my videos, but it really annoys me. Forza Horizon 5 is basically just a reskin Forza Horizon 3 with a different map and a couple of new features. I mean, the physics are very similar, the UI is pretty much identical. So in this iteration, I'm going to be switching from Horizon 3 footage to Horizon 5 footage. I mean, obviously, Horizon 5 is going to be in 4K60 and Horizon 3 is going to be in 1080 30 or 6 to 1080 30 probably. So yeah, I guess that's going to be an easy giveaway. But basically, Horizon 5 is going to be Horizon 3 with much better graphics, smoother frame rate, and just better graphics. I said that already. What am I saying? I mean, it might not seem the same to people who are new to the Forza franchise with Horizon 5, but for people who have been playing this franchise ever since around 2015, you really notice how similar Horizon 3 is to Horizon 5. So yeah, that's something that really annoys me with Forza Horizon 5, the fact that they're recycling the same tempo over and over again. It just makes Horizon 5 feel exactly the same as Horizon 3, which is so annoying. Anyways, as you can see here, I have many duplicates of the same car. So let me go to sell one of my car- uh, uh, oh wait, what? You can't quick sell cars in this game? That's so annoying. So the only way to sell the cars in this game is to go out of this, go into auction house, start an auction, and then go all the way to Land Rover, and then select the Defender. And the buyout price is stuck to 20,000. Why do I have to auction it for 20,000, man? Okay, you know what? I'm going to put the car in the auction, and obviously it's going to take 20% of my money away after I sell the car. And even here, yeah, I guarantee you this car will not sell. Because everybody gets this car in the wheel spin. So if you can't sell this car in the auction house, and the only way to get rid of it is by removing it and getting no money in return. That's a little bit annoying, you know, like, why can't you quick sell the cars in this game? So yeah, Forza, if you're watching, please add a quick sell option to every car in the game. It's so annoying that we don't have an option like this in the game yet. Now, let's say you're going for a very relaxing cruise in your Aston Martin V8 Vantage. Nice cruise at 40 miles per hour and what's this? It's a street racing thing. Please don't pop up. Please don't pop up. And it's popped up. Oh, well, at least that's just one pop-up gone. There's not going to be any more pop-up. Oh no, there's another street racing one. I don't want to overtake this car because I go for a realistic cruise and uh, yeah, it pops up again. When you're going for a relaxing cruise, you shouldn't have to worry about pop-ups like that. It should literally just be a relaxing cruise and yep, there's a bird. There's a bird in us and we get speed cameraed. That's not a word, but we just got flashed by the camera. Now, I know a lot of people are going to be driving at like 200 miles per hour, blasting past these cameras, not giving a toss. But for cruises in the Forza Horizon franchise, it gets so annoying. And especially for me as well because when I record the background footage for my videos I have to drive very fast past these pop-up things otherwise it just pops up like this and it gets oh it didn't pop up oh there you go so yeah Forza Horizon 5 devs if you are watching then can you please add a way to disable the pop-ups because they can get really annoying oh I'm at the city now this brings me very nicely to my next point now here we are in the main city of Horizon 5 one thing that really annoys me is how how dead the main city of the map feels. I know I'm not the only one who feels this way. Shiny or tweeted about this recently, and a lot of people really did seem to agree with him as well. So I mean, here this is this is a kind of nice-ish area. Let's go to drone mode, and here you can see lots of people. That oh my god, that's the same person three times. What on earth is that? What is this Illuminati, man? They're, okay, there's a deja vu flipping. What the hell? They're same face everything, and here's another. Here's a fourth one. What's going on? But yeah, here the atmosphere is pretty nice. I mean, it does feel kind of alienating the way there are four. I identical people in this <laughs> it's so weird and yeah this part of the map it kind of feels alive even though they're just standing still and talking to each other their legs must be aching but everywhere else there's no pedestrians so if you compare this to horizon 3 with surface paradise the main city in that game horizon australia feels so much more alive there are so many more pedestrians in horizon australia as they have their arms around each other if they're couples they're walking together they're not just standing in the same place like aliens and there's even public transport in horizon australia as there are champs that go up down the city and there is even a monorail. Now I know lots of people say that it's fitting to have no pedestrians in a city like Wanhato but I'll completely disagree with you. So I'm really hoping that with the next Horizon game we see a lot more pedestrians in the main city of the map because otherwise it doesn't feel like the main city of the map. It just feels like a weird town that nobody cares about. Putting in work with a cake in mind if I didn't have no 
one I've been making time. Now this is completely personal preference, but one thing that really annoys me about Horizon 5 is how ancient the map feels. The map feels like it's set in the 60s. It's so old. I mean, honestly, you can put some weird 60s filter on this game and apply 60s music in the background and it genuinely feels like a game that's literally set in the 60s. It genuinely just feels like a new game that's meant to be set in the 60s. Look at this, I'm in a Diablo. That's I mean, Diablo's up from the 60s. You know what I mean? I mean, my favourite part about this map is the bridge as it feels very modern and you can, of course, drive off here, which is really cool. I really like this. Also, I love this stadium as it's a really fun place to just mess around with your car and I enjoy this because it's modern. This is a modern stadium. It's not like, I mean, it might be a stadium that's made in the 60s, but it feels modern. And also, I really love this sort of hotel resort sort of place. I mean, just look at how modern these buildings are. They're so cool to look at and it's such a cool place to take pictures. We need more places like this, man. Whereas in Horizon 5, everything, as I mentioned earlier, feels so old-fashioned. Like, I know this is obviously meant to be an old, abandoned airfield, which is full of grass and trees growing out of it and rusty plains. But it makes the game feel so dead and unalive. What, what's the word for unalive? Dead? Yeah, why, why, why did I say unalive? We need more atmosphere and energy in the game. Where are the driver tires at? I'm literally the only person in this massive... Oh, there's a pop-up. That's annoying. Don't get me wrong. This is a really good airfield with, like, a really cool jump at the end. But I don't like the fact that it's, it's really old. Comparing this to Horizon 3, the airports were very modern and it was always full of driver tires. The driver tires really used to love hanging out there. It's such a cool place to meet up and do drag races. And there was even a car meet over there, which was really cool. And of course, as I mentioned earlier, the city in Horizon Australia is so modern and I love it. But yeah, and let's not forget the fuel station. Yep, there was a fuel station in Horizon 3, which we don't see in Horizon 5, which I just don't understand. I mean, like, what? what? That's one of my favourite places. Everybody's favourite place in Horizon 3, yeah. And they completely got rid of it in Horizon 4 and 5. I mean, like, what? Why are you smoking bullshit, mate? So, yep, I feel like if Horizon Mexico had a slightly more modern feel to the game and included cities like Mexico City and maybe a modern airfield, then I genuinely think that Horizon Mexico would have been so much more loved because I, I'm, I'm really annoyed that it's really old. The game literally feels like it's in the 60s. Come on, like, we need a modern game, man. Now, if you enjoyed this video, then you might enjoy this video up here, so make sure to give that a watch, please. And if you want to subscribe to my channel, then there's a button down below here, which you should press, which is guide you to my channel, where you can subscribe. Anyways, have a good one, guys. Cheers.